okay, Sagittarius, are you refusing to agree to disagree with somebody? We have you showing up here with this temperance card. Maybe you're playing a game here. Maybe somebody's playing a game with you and your patience is getting ready to run out. Because this is you here with this temperance. Somebody's half in, half out. Maybe playing some games here. Maybe half in, half out about their emotions. Ooh. Because then we have this queen of swords here in the upright and this king of swords at the end of this in the reverse. So this is two people. This could be you and your significant other. You and somebody that you really care about. Uh, could be work, family, love related. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Ooh, drop this person sign in the comment section as well and let me know where you're from. But this is two people being in a disagreement about something or not being on the same level of communication or information about something and something coming in here. Some information communication coming in about this thing that now has you guys, you know, not speak, definitely not speaking. If you live together, you're not talking about this issue. It's the elephant in the room. And then this King of Pentacles energy could be dealing with a Taurus person. Again, drop their sign in the comment section. But this is somebody being stubborn, stubborn. But this is also husband, um, masculine vibes, marriage, the institution of marriage, somebody who values um, monogamy. But I don't necessarily feel like that's what this conversation is about. Oh no, you're arguing about something else here. This Queen of Swords is also a card of setting boundaries and an ultimatum here. So Sagittarius, is it you that's setting boundaries and an ultimatum here? Setting the parameters around maybe this relationship here? And this person's being stubborn to the boundaries that you're setting, going back and forth with you about them, not trying to hear these boundaries that you're putting on this relationship or in this workplace. Ooh. Because then we have the Queen of Cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So with this, Clarifying that, we have two queens here. Is, ooh, is this third party energy? And the queen of wands. Oh, Sagittarius, this is a hot mess. So I'm not necessarily getting third party vibes at this moment. We're only two minutes in, shit. But Sagittarius, this is a situation where somebody's emotions are running high and I believe it's you, but it could be somebody else that's keeping yourself emotionally in check here. That's half in, half out, because you're not letting your emotions get the best of you here with this temperance card, okay? You still have one foot on solid ground. You're still dealing with the facts here. And you're having hope, having faith, praying that this person will meet you halfway with this Knight of Swords when you're communicating whatever it is that you're communicating. Because you definitely need to be heard here. And this is a situation here with this Queen of Wands, this Queen of Action, Passion. Also third party energy when I see it here in a verse, but this is also queen of needing a lot of attention, acknowledgement. This upside down, this Libra energy, this king of swords in reverse, this person, I feel like is purposely not wanting to see you halfway. This per person is maybe possibly, purposely not wanting to agree with you, not wanting to meet you halfway, because here we have the eight of cups here. To clarify this knight of swords. So somebody's coming in, and I believe this is you, Sagittarius. You giving the ultimatum and let them know that hey, you gotta you gotta fix this. We gotta talk about this. We gotta get we gotta even things out. It's uneven here. We have this three of cups here and this five of cups here. There's unequal oh, is that what this is? Half in, half out, this unequal, uneven give and take here. Oh, and somebody's not acknowledging you. Oh, so whether this is third party energy or not, Sagittarius, this is a situation where you've been hoping and praying that somebody will acknowledge you in a certain way, acknowledge your ideas here, acknowledge your presence in this relationship or in this work partnership, and they're refusing to do it. Ooh, so what are you about to do? Set this ultimatum. Let them know what the deal is. Oh, there's been a program change and either you can accept this download or I'm out. Damn, Sagittarius, who is this person that you're dealing with here? And with this three of pentacles, reminds me of our boy Steve from Blue's Clues. This is things coming together when you walk away or when you give this ultimatum about walking away in this uneven give and take. So for those of you that have hope and there's real love here that this person gives a damn, y'all might be able to come back together, okay?
You woke up in the kitchen wondering how the hell this shit happened. Oh, baby. This is one of those. Y'all can come back together. But for others of you where you can't come together, where, this, where things aren't adding up, where somebody's not willing to invest in this equally, this nine of wands, you're going to be putting up a wall and you're battered and bruised and you're going to be out here. More Taurus energy with this hair font here in the background underneath to clarify this king of pentacles. This is somebody being stubborn. Oh, is this about getting married? The marriage? Is this about taking this relationship to the next level and somebody's not wanting to do that? Maybe they're talking about they're waiting for their finances to be at a certain level here before they commit on that level, before they buy you a ring, before you want to buy them a ring. Because this could be vice versa in reverse. But this King of Pentacles, this is somebody's communicating about marriage. Is somebody putting an ultimatum on you about marriage, about how quickly you need to get married or they're going to be out? Or is this a situation where somebody's talking about marriage, but they're not even acknowledging you publicly while you're helping them out here in the background with this Three of Pentacles? Ooh. And with the Seven of Swords here, air energy. This is somebody not wanting to talk about this. So this isn't just a case of somebody not wanting to agree to disagree here. Because I thought maybe this was just like a tabletop issue. Oh no, this is about marriage. This is about getting married, taking this relationship to the next level here. This person is acting like they don't know what's going on here, but they do. They really do. King of Swords, the Hierophant, Three of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. They know exactly what's going on here. They know very, they know damn well they're not giving you the acknowledgement that you need in this relationship for you personally, whatever that is, because that's, you know, different for everybody. There's some type of acknowledgement issue here. That's a problem. And they know it. They're purposely going around this issue. They're purposely trying to ignore it. King of Wands in reverse. This person's being real cowardly. Yeah, they're not wanting to address this issue, and it may be an issue, Sagittarius, that now you're seeing the light and using your logic over your emotions here to put this person on front street or to really hold this person to what it is that they've been telling you here. Because they've been ta talking to you about going to the courthouse here. They've been talking to you about leveling up in this relationship here or this partnership. Cheers, you know, to the future. Ain't no future. This hasn't moved anywhere. This is stagnant stagnant five of pentacles taurus energy again sagittarius who are you dealing with is it a taurus or is it an air excuse me an earth sign person with this five of pentacles that's leaving you battered and bruised pulling the rug out from underneath you here this is a betrayal here this is a betrayal here about this love this commitment not going anywhere and this person not wanting to talk about Taurus, Taurus, Taurus energy being very stubborn about this. So while they've been dangling this care about this commitment, whatever it is, work, love related, marriage, making it Facebook official, whatever, they had no real intentions of doing that. And now you see that. See? Because this person's cowardly ways and these little lies they've been telling or these big lies about being your king or making you a queen, whatever. Now you know. Now you see this person. Now you see both sides. You could be dealing with a Pisces or it's this Pisces moon. Or check out this crescent moon here. This full moon in Pisces that's going to reveal what's really going on here. Uh, Because this Pisces energy here, this cup has something in it. So it may be... Check out my Pisces reading. I keep telling people that. Or that full moon in Pisces reading that I did this weekend. <laughs> That somebody comes gossiping to you under this new moon, under this full moon, and that's when you find out about all these secrets. Oh, yes. Maybe somebody's married already. Maybe you're getting divorced here because somebody was talking about commitment to somebody else. Some of you, maybe you're rushing off to get married and going to the courthouse here. But this, something's about to be revealed to you and you're about to be evening things out as we go into Libra season during this new full moon in Pisces. Excuse me. As we go into Libra season here, you're about to see what's really going on here. That this person's actions do not match their words. And Sagittarius, you're going to be ready to move on here. Having the strength.
to move forward and balance out your situation here. And again, moving on. Who is this earth sign person you're dealing with? Another Virgo earth sign card here with the nine of pentacles. This is you not afraid of being single here. You have the strength to move on and not let, it's not even going to break your stride, Sagittarius, to move on to something new, someone new. And this is you focusing on your money. Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles here. Focusing on your money. Maybe signing contracts here, even though I would tell you during the retrograde that would be a bad time. But just read the fine print. You know what to do. Being at a crossroads here, you know it. And the Sun card, Leo energy again. This is triumph, happiness. The grass is greener here on the other side. And the lovers, the lovers and the hermit. Uh-oh. Even though these are in the reverse, this is a perfect opportunity maybe for you to go on a spiritual journey here, for you to pull away hermit season is virgos virgo season you're coming up out of this wealthier healthier coming up out of this with clarity knowing what's really going on here and exiting stage left closing out the cycle with this person because you've really been carrying this relationship here with this ten of wands sagittarius let me know how this resonated for you down in the comment section please don't forget to drop your sign drop this person's sign let me know what resonated i think i just said that Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and fire sign favorites. I'll be checking in with you soon. Keep it real.